<laughs> and, and you were once told women are an anomaly. How did this make you feel and how has this fueled your research career? When I was first told that women were an anomaly and results weren't actually included in a lot of the research studies, I was really kind of, well, I shouldn't say, it. pissed off is a, is a light word. But um, the way I grew up in my household, like even though my father was military, there's always the option to do whatever you wanted within reason. So there were never any bounds of being a boy or a girl. So when I get into university and they're like, oh, well, women are anomaly. We don't really use the results. We just generalize from male data. I was like, wait a second. I know that I'm part of a crew team and all the women work really, really hard. And so now you're telling me that what we're doing might not be right for us, but there was no science to actually say what was right for us. So that was, gosh, I don't know. Yeah, a couple of decades ago that we all started this and and it's still pervasive. I mean, my PhD students are still getting that, like, why do you want to study women? We don't know enough about men. Mm -hmm. So what was your, your, I guess, journey like into the academic side of things? I know that you've spent time at several universities, Stanford uh, being one of them. Um, you know, how did that sort of academic side of your career uh, play out and and what are the main questions that you've kind of looked to explore through your research yeah i guess i should be full disclosure i'm not a true academic and i think that's why i get frustrated with academia because i'm not in the mindset to publish or perish i want to answer questions and i want to disseminate it out so uh you know at stanford i had a really great mentor a couple of great mentors actually who were really good at doing sound research and then translating it out. So when I got to work with Marcia Stefanik, who's head of the Women's Health Initiative, and Craig Heller, who's human biology, a really fantastic thermoreg physiologist, and being able to put human performance with public health and then learn how to disseminate it out. And people were like, oh my gosh, how come we didn't know this information? I was like, because true academics kind of think that everyone reads their papers. And no one really expresses it. So I think my academic career was kind of on the edge where I never really fit in on either side. Like industry is like, oh, you're a professor. What do you know? You don't know how to push stuff out. And then people in academia are like, oh, well, you're not true to your word because you're not published or perish. So it's like trying to find that that niche. And it's very unusual.